Hi, I'm Deborah Stein. I'm a playwright from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I'm excited to invite you to come see my play Wallflower, having its world premiere at Stages Repertory Theater. It's actually a love story. It's a coming-of-age story about uh, two kids. They're barely out of their teens, and they are very much creatures of this digitally created world of the, of the 21st century. And how, how are they going to best work to uh, create a sense of community and a, a sense of action and, and, and not be held back by the circumstances of their world, but instead um, do something about it. Each of the three characters, I hope, expresses um, a point of view that I think is both valid and flawed, so that it, it, part of the drama is taking these three points of view and, uh, like pinballs, sort of setting them in motion and they smack up against each other and lots of friction happens. It all happens in this room that I'm sitting in. And um, it also happens on, on TV screens and on computer screens, and that is the other place that, that when these three people are together, they are trying to form a community and then the other tool that they have to form community is um, is the internet. It came out of uh, a feeling uh, that I was feeling and a lot of my colleagues and friends were feeling in this sort of um, absolute sense of lack of control or autonomy over uh, the course of our lives specifically in a, a political context and really wondering why was nobody hitting on the streets with their rage and their anger. And I realized it was because everyone was on their blogs and people were sending emails to their Congress people and um, in chat rooms and, and organizing all of these sort of virtual communities of um, unrest and protest. And I started thinking, well, what would it take to get people off their blogs and onto the streets? The process of working with the actors has been extremely collaborative. I've been uh, changing and refining aspects of the play up through literally this morning. We're having our first public performance in about 72 hours and the cast has been extraordinarily generous both with um, their time and also their, their feedback and their questions and a lot of the rewriting that I've been doing has happened through conversations with the actors and they've just been really extraordinary collaborators and, and bring a real sense of of passion and intelligence to their roles. There's something in the energy of the play that is really kind of raucous and loud. And um, there are times when you feel like the theater is vibrating, like you're at a rock concert instead of at the theater. And that is, is very much part of the experience of the play. That is something that we talked about from the very first conversation I had with Ken was about how this was theater about young people, about, about me and my friends and people younger than me, and that I always, in every play that I write, really want to figure out how to bring this sense of, of liveness, this thing that makes theater different from, from movies, from television, and, and, and part of that, I think, is that raw energy. And in Wallflower, it's about turning the volume up really loud, people are running across the theater. Uh, it's not a play that you're going to sit back and relax and um, contemplate while you're in the theater. I hope that after you leave, there's a lot to think about, but it all goes by like a speeding roller coaster. So the play is called Wallflower. It's at Stages Repertory Theater until April 19th, and I hope you can make it and bring your friends.